Joining us exclusively right now from his college campus in the U.S. state of Montana is Kevin Terrace. Kevin, welcome to the show. It's been four years since you made this incredible discovery. And now here you are talking to the world. What has it been like for you? Oh, it's been very exciting. I've always um, had a passion for paleo and going out on these digs and just finding this and just knowing how much it contributed to the scientific community. It's staggering. Take me back to that day four years ago. You were doing some sort of school project in Utah. What caught your eye and what happened? Well, uh, we were just wrapping up our, our dig in Utah and our, it was our second to last day, so we were trying to get our, um, a little bit of final prospecting, looking for fossils in before we had to close up all of our sites. And um, we were just hiking up along this ridge. I just saw a conglomerate, a big piece of rock protruding out from the ground and just decided to take a quick look under it and saw a bit of bone sticking out. Then we, after walking over to the other side, we found the skull. So we determined that the whole skeleton must be in there somewhere. So it's very exciting. At what point did you realize during all of this that your discovery was a big deal? Well, um, I guess when we first uh, initially found it, um, my teacher, Dr. Parkey and I, walked over and we uh, flipped over a loose bit of rock. And after we flipped that over and found the skull, um, that's kind of when we realized it was kind of important. Uh, Dr. Farkey's reaction alone spoke volumes about how exciting this was. But you didn't know exactly what it was at that moment, right? I mean, you just knew that you had uh, several pieces, possibly something, but you didn't realize at that point what a major discovery it was. Oh, n not initially. We just knew that uh, whenever you find a skull, um, period, it's, it's exciting initially. And then once more information came in and we were able to determine what it was, it, it just added to the excitement and the um, just the fascination and everything with it. Is this something that you've always been interested in as long as you can remember? Or is this something that you became interested in later on as a teenager? Oh, I've always had an interest um, ever since I was a little kid. And it's a running joke along the community that everybody as a kid loves dinosaurs. And those who continue to study them just never grow up. <laughs> so that being said, Kevin, what is next for you? You're in college now. What are you studying? And what do you hope to be when you grow up, if you grow up, so to speak? <laughs> well, um, I'm, I'm currently studying paleontology, so I, I really do want to continue along those lines and uh, hopefully get into grad school where I can further my interests. Kevin Terrace, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we appreciate your time. Thanks for having me.